Hey everybody, it's Dr. J, and today, yes, today, we are talking about aqueous solutions. Let's talk about chemistry. All right, so we talked about aqueous solutions a little bit before. Let's just do a quick summary, right? Reminder to everybody in case you forgot. All right, put in the comments if you forgot, it's totally okay. Um, aqueous solutions. This is basically where our water is our solvent. That's it. Right, and then we know we have an aqueous solution in our equations when we see AQ. Right, so if you see AQ, that means that you got an aqueous solution. Now let's talk about you know some more stuff concerning aqueous solutions. So we about to add another layer, right? We add another layer here. So the first thing we want to talk about is electrolytes and non-electrolytes for all aqueous solutions. Right, so electrolytes are basically substances that dissolve in water to form solutions, all right? And when, right, these things are being dissolved in water to form these solutions, they're able to do one particular thing, all right? So this is what, you know, makes an electrolyte. They're able to conduct electricity, all right? So they can conduct electricity. Now, if we, right, compare that to non-electrolytes, all right, here's the key difference between the two. Non-electrolytes, to put it simple, right, they can't conduct electricity. That's it. They can't conduct it. Now, what's the reason for that, right? The reason being, right, is, is because they're not able to, what we call, dissociate to ions, all right, when they're dissolved in this water. So let, let, let's look at an example here, right? Let's say that we have an electrolyte solution, and we understand, right, that electrolytes, they conduct electricity. Now, why, Dr. J, can they conduct electricity? It's all because they dissociate to ions, right? So remember, we put the salt in here, but in the salt solution, this isn't just, you know, solid salt. This is actually sodium ions and chlorine ions floating, right, in that water here. So since we got these ions floating, those ions with those partial charges are able to conduct that electricity, right? Sending, you know, those currents and different things like that, which we're not going to go over that specifically today. We're just going over the concept, the basis right now. So once again, an electrolyte solution has ions. So because it has ions, it's able to conduct electricity. If we compare that to non-electrolyte solutions, right? They're not able to conduct ele electricity. And the being, right, the reason why is because there's no ions in here. So if I dissolve some sugar, right, in the solution, do I have any ions in sugar? No, right? Sugar, there's no ions that's going to happen when this occurs. So because there isn't any ions, right, we're not able to conduct electricity. So in this example, you connect a battery to our electrodes, right? Um, no electricity will be conducted with sugar solution here, right? No ions. So electrolytes, right? Let's talk about the very first type of electrolyte, strong electrolytes. Okay, so strong electrolytes, basically, if you hear me say it's a strong electrolyte, that basically means it's completely dissociating into ions when we dissolve it in water. So therefore, if you have completely dissociated your ions in your water, then you have a strong conductive solution. So here are a couple examples of great strong electrolytes. Salts, so sodium chloride, calcium chloride, anything that's a salt, right? We're going to consider um, a, a, a strong electrolyte when it's being dissolved. Strong acids, right? Hydrochloric acid, um, those different things, right? Nitric acid and strong bases, right? Sodium hydroxide, just to name a few, right? So if you have a salt, a strong acid, or base, right? These these are going to be able to completely dissociate in our water, right, because this is still an aqueous solution, and because they're completely dissociated, then those ions can conduct, right, those electricity, okay? So we look over here, right, we understand sodium chloride, as I mentioned before, this is the representation here, right, our sodium ions, chlorine ions, right, they completely dissociate. Same thing with our base and acids, right? They're completely dissociating to their given ion. All right, so we have electrolytes. Let's talk about the other end, right? The weak electrolytes. So basically, these are partially ionized um, solutions, right? And because they're partially ionized, they can kind of conduct solution, but not as good as strong electrolytes. 
So a couple examples of weak electrolytes are weak acids, like acetic acid, or weak bases, right, with our NH3 over here. Now, if we look here at right, our weak electrolyte, um, we can see, right, that when it says partially ionized, that means that basically we got our water molecules in there. And then we have certain instances to where we have ions, right, in this case. Um, uh, uh, we got our hydrogen here, right? But then the, on the other end, we still got our entire molecule attached to each other. So they didn't necessarily ionize compared to our, like, our strong electrolytes. If we look over here, you know, we got our water. But then uh, we got our positive cation, sodium. And then we have our negative ion. And chlorine and of course non-electrolytes um we don't have any ions right it's just a big old molecule of water all right so they didn't they dissolved in there but they're not being ionized now dr j how do you know when you have weak electrolytes versus strong right well it has to be a weak acid and weak base to be a weak electrolyte strong acid strong base how do you know when you have a strong base versus a weak base. How do you know if you have a strong acid versus a weak acid? If y'all want to catch that out, make sure to go check the video out in my General Chemistry 2 pay playlist, all right? That's where you can catch all that information. Right now, this is just Chem 1, so we're keeping it simple with y'all, all right? But if you want to find out how do you know when you have a weak acid versus a strong acid or a weak base versus a strong base, check the other playlist.